Let's take a closer look at ProDrive's preparation of their BRX Hunter for the Dakar Rally 2024. The BRX Hunter is a special rally rate car because it started completely independent from any road car design. But because of its designer bodywork, they ended up almost with more disadvantages than other cars. The designer body caused them to have a flat, long windscreen which restricted visibility and increased cabin heating under the sun. Together with the engine and the foot compartment, cabin cooling became a real issue. Also, the curved roof line created so much lift that ProDrive needed to add a huge rear wing, which didn't really fit the design, and increased drag. Anyway, after sorting out the initial design flaws and updating the Hunter step by step, the ProDrive contender now became a serious force in the Dakar Rally. And especially in the hands of Sebastian Loeb, who became second overall in 2022 and 2023. His biggest rival was Nasser Alatia in the Toyota. If you want to know about the details of the BRX Hunter's design, check out my other video about its design below. The big news now is that Alatia switched side and is now driving a BRX Hunter as well. So the two big rivals and top drivers are in the same team now, potentially helping each other. But not just that, although ProDrive didn't really update the Hunter for this year, they are sending a total of 7 cars into the rally. So chances of winning and helping each other are much higher. On the other hand, for ProDrive it's quite a challenge to build 7 of these cars for customers. It's a new dimension for them. And this year, with Loeb and Alatia on board and 7 cars in the race, their chances of winning the Dakar overall are better than ever before. And if the Hunter is winning the Dakar, it's going to be even more popular for customer teams. And that means good business for ProDrive. So what do you think? Can the BRX Hunter win the 2024 Dakar Rally? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.